The primordial gods, known as the Protogenoi, were the first beings that formed the universe and were incredibly powerful than their descendants who would rule the world they created. The first primordial deity was the shapeless dark void Chaos. Out of Chaos came Eros, the god of love and procreation. Tartarus, the abyss and original god of the underworld. Gaia, goddess of the earth, Erebus, god of darkness, and Nyx, goddess of the night. From Gaia came out Aria, god of the mountains, Pontus, god of the sea, and Uranus, god of the sky and heavens. From the union of Erebus and Nyx came Ether, ancient god of light and upper air, and Hemera, ancient goddess of day. Chaos was a shapeless embodiment of nothingness. It was an immense dark void that was the primary source of everything. Chaos was the first thing that exists and origin of everything that gave birth to the first Greek primordial gods or the Protogenoi. Gaia was the first to came out of chaos and known as Mother Earth. She was the goddess of nature and the ancestral mother of all life. Gaia then gave birth to three other Protogenoi, the Aria, Pontus, and Uranus. The Arias were the primordial deities that represented the ten mountains of the world in ancient Greece. The first was Aetna or Edna, god of Mount Edna in Sicily. Second was Athos, mountain god of Thrace in north of Greece. Third was Helicon, god of the highest mountain of Boeotia in central Greece. Fourth was Cytheron or Catheron, god of the mountain that spanned the borders of Boeotia, Megaris, and Attica. Fifth was Nysos, god of Mount Nysa that was located either in Ethiopia, Anatolia, Libya, Tribalia, and Arabia. Sixth was Olympos of Phrygia, located in Anatolia and called as Mysian Olympus sometimes. Mountain god Olympos of Phrygia was not famous but he invented the flute. Seventh was Olympos of Thessaly, god of Mount Olympus that stretches along the border of Thessaly and Macedonia near the Aegean coast and known as the home of the Olympian gods. Eight was Oreos or Aureus, mountain god of Mount Uthres in central Greece. Mountain god Oreos was the father of Oxalos, demigod of mountain forests, and Hamadryas, the oak tree nymph. Ninth was Parnes, mountain god of Mount Parnatha between Boeotia and Attica in central Greece. Last was Tamalus, mountain god of Mount Tamalus of Lydia. When Gaia mated with Pontus, she gave birth to five sea gods and goddesses. First was Nereus, the sea god known as the Old Man of the Sea. Next was Thaumas, the sea god who was associated with the wonders of the ocean. Then Phorcys, the sea god of hidden dangers and darker aspects that lurked in the deep ocean. Next was Ceto, the goddess representing dangers in the sea and ruled over the sea monsters. Together, Phorcys and Ceto produced horrible and monstrous sea creatures as their children. Then last was Eurybia, the goddess with power over the sea that can control the forces of the wind, weather, and constellations. Gaia bore children with Uranus too. The first twelve children were called the Titans. They were Oceanus, Greek Titan god of the ocean, Kuas, Greek Titan god of intelligence, wisdom, and heavenly oracles, Crius, the Greek Titan god of heavenly constellations, Hyperion, Greek Titan god of all heavenly light, Iapetus, Greek Titan god of mortality, Thea, Greek Titan goddess of light and sight, Rhea, Greek Titan goddess of fertility and mother of all Olympian deities, Themis, Greek Titan goddess of divine law and order, Mnemosyne, Greek Titan goddess of memory and mother of the muses, Phoebe, Greek Titan goddess of bright intellect and prophecy, Tethys, Greek Titan goddess of fresh water, and the youngest of the twelve, Cronus, who was the leader of the Titans and father of all the Olympian deities.
Also, Gaia and Uranus were other peculiar children. First, the giant one-eyed cyclopes, Arges, Brontes, and Sterapes. They were called Uranian Cyclopes who were highly skilled craftsmen, they made the famous Thunderbolt of Zeus. Next was the Hecatonchiers, a hundred-handed with fifty heads creature. They were Briarius the Vigorous, Cotus the Striker, and Gyges the Big-Limbed, 